Nick was still in the infirmary. Remember? Luna just hopped over there and picked it up. But how did the bracelet come off of Quark? So I was right. If he didn't die, Quark if he had stayed alive. He when the second round ended. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but didn't he get penalized after the third round? No, because he had the bracelet wasn't on at the time. Yes, he did. But a penalty carrot take away your points. Just your life. The needles popped out and so on, but the points stayed the same. So Luna took Quark to the door. <laughs> and since her bracelet was already off, she wouldn't have suffered the penalty. I thought we found Quark's bracelet. And it wasn't on his arm. No, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Oh, right. She's a golem. All right, I think my tail is through. Okay, well, I've got some questions for you, buddy. Uh, not you. Well, good thing you guys don't have questions for me. That guy's a jerk. This isn't the alphabet. <laughs> you must be feeling pretty good if you're able to jump around like that. I mean, six people just died here. <laughs> eh, it's not really a big deal. So Quark did die then. That's just how you humans are, after all. So, as long as you make it... Nothing else matters. Am I right? No, you're wrong. Don't screw with us. It's cool. It's cool. I know you gotta act tough. I mean, you chose betray. <laughs> that means you don't trust Luna, right? Figures? She's a golem. She might even be a murderer. That's why you were planning to leave her here and bone out, wasn't it? If we were planning to leave her here, then we could have opened the number 9 door after we came out of the AB rooms. We chose not to do that. You see, it's all about you. Haven't you thought about how sad you've made Luna? What? Well, looks like my time here is just about all used up. <laughs> Wait, I still have questions for you. No, I won't wait. I don't like waiting. I waited once, and some half-witted reptile got the better of me because of it. After that, I learned to make sure to value my time. Tortoise and the hare. Alrighty then. I'll see you when I see ya. Have a nice trader. There's the ending. Have a nice trader. They did do that to get Quark and not help Luna, but they also could have left back then if they planned to leave Luna behind. They had the chance. They didn't take it. For a long moment, for a few long moments, Fi and I just stared at the spot on the wall where Zero had a had disappeared. Where had Quark been? Who had given him an anaesthetic and why? We had no idea who'd killed any, everyone and Zero Senior's identity as well as the purpose of the nonary game remained a mystery. As for our futures, what are we supposed to do now? I hadn't meant to say the words out loud, but there they were. The tortoise won because he kept going even when it looked hopeless. I think we should do the same. We've got plenty of time after all. We'll give the dead the closest thing to a funeral we can manage. And when that's done, we'll start looking. Even if I never leave this place, I'll figure out why we were here. I swear it. I looked at the fire in her eyes and nodded. If nothing else, at least we had a promise, a purpose. 
And that's the end. Yep, game over. Have we seen Luna's ending yet? No, we haven't. So this one I'm thinking is Luna's, and this one is Fire's. Who knows? We are so close. We still need the code to the number three bomb to be able to continue there. Do you wish to jump? Yes. Now we will ally. Well, there's another one di to discount from Sigma's ideal ending. Golems can't have babies. Hey, Sigma, are you insane? Why the hell did you choose Ally? Wait, we can talk about that later. Right now, she's gone. Where'd she go? That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. Then... There it was. I thought so. She didn't pick it up. Without the bracelet, she couldn't have voted. Then, she let the system vote ally for her? Results from round three of the Avidex game will now be displayed. The question still comes in, why did she open an AB room in the first place? But... Maybe Luna would have picked it up and voted ally if we didn't get back to vote ourselves. So we could have continued. And we wouldn't have died. But since we went in and voted, she didn't need to. Your right, the results. Yeah, let's go have a look. Because we're all on seven, so as long as we voted, then... We could leave. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Maybe. Since Luna didn't vote, she got set to ally automatically. But... I don't see any time when Luna has found out the results. And the other six got penalised. Then again, five of them are already dead. We won't we don't know where Quark is, but his bracelet's already off. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. That means all those penalties are meaningless. Why did Luna show up then? I mean, we've got our 9 BP now, but... Now 
No, I'm pretty sure Dio has voted ally more than once. There was a time when... I'm sure there was probably a time when he got knocked out and wasn't able to vote. Yes, there was a time when he was knocked out in the infirmary and they sent K to vote in his place because they trusted K to vote properly because they were partners and their opponent was Alice, I think. And no one trusted Dio to do the right thing, thing so they didn't let him vote. Yeah, that's why they done it. <laughs> they couldn't trust Dio to do the right thing, so they knocked him out. But yeah, there was other times where Dio did have a ally vote. Yeah, this time we knew that the that the skull would appear both times. All right. What do you want to do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? What? You're kidding, right? Weren't you the one who kept going on about how Quark's still alive? I can't just run off and leave him here. You sure? Yeah. Well, that's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Now let's get moving. We need to find Quark. And Luna too, right? Luna. Hmm. The Ambidex Gates have closed. Round four of the Ambidex Game will be the Star Round. Well, that's always the thing. Dio was never guaranteed. He would never... ...promise to go ally and then be certain to go ally. Star keys are required to open the gates. Now, out of everyone that is alive, that we know, and could be alive, has nine points or more. Fire and I checked our bracelets out for of sheer reflex. I was a magenta pair, just like before, but Fire had changed to a red solo. It didn't really matter though. Both of our bracelets showed the number 9. All we had to do was open the number 9 door and we'd never have to play any another AB game again. Alright, Quark comes first. Let's go. I would still pick up Luna's bracelet and then go grab Quark's bracelet. She spun around and headed for the cyan door. I followed on her heels. There's Alice. Temniuji Clover, the old lady. They do like to visit the old, the dead bodies, don't they? K and Dio. Gollum. Sigma, there's something I want to ask you. 
What is it? There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Golem Bay, correct? <laughs> yeah, the impenetrable K armor that we did get a key for eventually, and an axe can cut through the back of it. Yeah. According to the map, this the that's the door on the bottom. There's a lever on the that thing in the middle, right? We pulled it, but it only opened one of the doors. What about it? Hmm. Now they're all open. Take a look. See the lock? Open. Yeah. Then who the hell opened it? And how? It's because all the doors in the area open when you cleared that round of AB rooms. There's only one person who could have opened it. Luna. All right, let's head in. Okay. Did they never come to this room in this timeline? What the heck are these things? I think they're treatment pods of some sort. What? What meant pods? Even as I spoke, part of me knew what they were. I didn't know how or why, but I felt a strong sense of deja vu when I looked at them and suddenly realized I knew exactly how to operate the pods. It was a strange, unsettling feeling as if somewhere deep inside me was a version of myself that I didn't actually know. Hmm. One of them is lit up. The one on the left. Is it being used? The glass is all fogged up. I can't really see inside. Let's crack it open then. Yeah. Quark. Our feet pounded across the floor of the warehouse. This is it. Quark's body bounced in my arms as I ran. His pulse and breathing were normal. He was limp and unconscious, but he was alive. The pod's display had given us a little information on his condition. As far as we could tell, he'd been given an anesthetic, which had put him to sleep. Ready? What's wrong? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. Luna. And what about getting answers? Um, is it really okay for us just leave what the hell is this you want to stay here what if luna kills you too what think about it alice clover tenmyoji the old woman even dio and k there's a good chance luna killed all of them but why why doesn't matter remember what we saw on clover's thigh yeah but how would clover have known the 016 referred to Luna. And what's that the same number as? The last three digits of Luna's product, product ID. Where did we find the old woman's corpse? In the AB room that Luna came out of. And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it any time she wanted. That means any alibi she might have had 
for not being able to move the crane is worthless. Exactly. But that doesn't still explain why you'd throw the murder weapon between two of the AB gates and then move one of them that would reveal the murder weapon. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. To keep her quiet. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them, which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. You understand, don't you? I admit none of this evidence is conclusive, but look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Who do you think is the most likely to be the murderer? Well, not me, you, or Quark. And I would think not Luna either. She's been too nice. Think this through, Sigma. But then murderers have been known to be good at putting on a nice face. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility, designed to do God knows what. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, she's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. But Zero Junior never, as far as we know, never wanted us to be murdered. He just made it possible if we disobeyed rules. The only option is to leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? Yes. Don't need to see this again. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and... Okay. You're right. Let's get out of here. Damn. Don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? You don't have to ask me. Isn't that what you always say? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. This, this door is a bit different than asking about the other doors, though. The other doors, there's no time limit really to go through them once you open it. Because he's only asking when you're leaving the room. Which makes no sense. This one, there's only 9 seconds between it opening and closing. So, there kind of is a reason to ask. With a heavy, laboured groan, the number 9 door began to open. As soon as the gap was wide enough to admit her body, fire slipped through it. I followed her through, Quark still cradled in my arms. Inside was a massive lift platform, like the kind used, m used to move industrial cargo. Fire turned to face me and I shoved Quark into her arms. Huh? Before she could respond, I spun around and ran. What? Why? What? The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Sigma! What the hell are you thinking? Get back here! Sorry, Fire. There's just... There's something I have to do. Take care of Quark. No! You don't mean... You're going to go find Luna? God damn it, Sigma! Think about what you're doing! Yeah! Sigma! Listen to me! You can't do this! Why... Sigma? You're locking yourself in forever.
The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. I had no regrets. In fact, with Fire and Quark's successful escape, I felt a profound sense of relief. One of my objectives had been achieved, and a difficult choice had been made. My mind felt clear and, I, and focused, more so than it had in a long time. Alright, time to go. Luna's waiting. What? Luna, I knew you'd be here. You knew? Or, oh right, we haven't talked here in this one yet, huh? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like that, isn't it, TCC? He locks himself in a building that he knows that he'll never be able to escape from now for the rest of his life to look for a robot. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but... Are you talking about something that happened in another history? You know about different histories? What? I know what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. Who told you that? Luna looked down at the music box around her neck. Carefully and delicately... 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 Delicately, that's the one. She twisted the dial on the bottom. I'm getting, I'm getting tongue-tied with so many words tonight. Sigma, aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? Well, actually, I already know you didn't do it. Oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. All right. I nodded and took a moment to compose my thoughts. Might as well start with the old woman. There's no point beating around the bush, I suppose. Dio killed her. Why do you think so? Her left arm had blood splatter all, all the way up to the elbow, except for a strip on the wrist that was perfectly clean. What could have caused that? My guess is a bracelet. It got covered with blood and kept her wrist clean. Obviously none of our bracelets had blood or blood splatter on them, but Dio's bracelet reacted to the luminol. That meant Dio's bracelet had to have come from the old woman which we're assuming, we know her last name is Kurashiki, we're assuming her first name is Akane. Is that your proof? That's why you think Dio killed her? No, that's only enough to suspect him. After all, he could have just taken the bracelet after someone else killed her. Then why are you so sure? Because he confessed. What? After his bracelet reacted to the luminol, I confronted him. Alright, fine. You caught me, I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait, when did that happen? 
in a different timeline. Isn't that against the rules? How? What rules? I hope you're not going to try and bring up Nox Ten Commandments. Does it really matter if it's against the rules or fair? The truth is the truth. Let's say the, that incident P happens and after that the timeline splits into timeline A and timeline B. I don't think it's unfair to base a theory in timeline A on information I find in timeline B. I'm interested. Nope. I'm wondering if this timeline will extend. <laughs>